Hello everyone, making another video, this time to speak about um, the two witnesses again and to let you people know who is the Lord choosing to be the two witnesses and why. Um, as I said in my last video about the two witnesses, um, it's a man and a woman. Um, the reason why he's choosing a woman, okay, so, but first of all, like uh, I said as well, my other video is to say that, um, the two witnesses are the people, they, they're gonna come, um, as the people that the Lord has chosen to exalt in the last days, and there are reasons for that, um, so first of all, he has chosen a woman. The reason why he has chosen a woman, it's because women has been over since the whole um, history of humanity and mankind. Women, since Eve been thrown out of the Garden of Eden, women has been treated pretty much really badly, you know, um, as pretty much treated like fools, as some some cultures even be treated like a disgrace okay um for instance in some cultures women still being beaten up to death for the simple reason of being carrying another female child inside of them okay so they being beaten up because they are pregnant by um another baby girl and some cultures despise it. They just want to burn baby boys, okay? They feel like burning girls, it's a, a disgrace, okay? And uh, burning baby boys is a blessing, okay? Some women also be given into marriage very early age, okay? Um, without their wish, without their without being they desire or they even being prepared for that okay so um i couldn't explain much in the the, the video about this uh, why women why give submission to men okay i've been um i've said bits about it but in went deep on it okay um women has they have been victims of domestic abuse for many years you know and um most in all cultures in all um in every single race okay women has been treated pretty much like crap like rubbish okay but um obviously it has been reduced the amount of of the um Miss of the abuse has been reduced um, in the past years, thanks to Lord, to the Lord for that. Okay, but there are still many, many cultures and many backgrounds. They are still treating women like uh, um, infer inferior. Okay, compared to men. <clears throat> um. So this is to explain why God is exalting a woman. Okay, at this time. At the end times, okay, to show that that should that's not his desire, that's not what he he asked to be done, okay. So being submission, submissive to someone or being giving our submission to men, it wasn't to be treated like crap, but to simply have like orderly, okay. The same way as children have to show um, submission to parents, okay. Um, because also they are naive. Um, and the other person that, obviously two people, but one of them going to be a black person, okay, that God is exalting a black person. Um, and the reason is simple. Okay, we know that black people has been pretty much been treated like crap as well. Okay, um, from the past years, decades, centuries, okay, by pretty much all races, okay, 
including um black people has been treated so badly even by their own race you know black people have so much self hatred that more than any other race okay and is absolutely despiteful the amount of self hate that black people have amongst each other okay so but again it is to exalt every single one of them that has been treated unfairly and the reason why he god is exalting these people again is simply to show mercy nothing else but mercy and answers to their prayers okay um yeah we know that black people have been treated like crap i mean one one lady once told me that um in her culture if women were of dark skin okay uh, she's asian and uh, she said in that in her culture if women were of dark skin they wouldn't get married because the man's their culture believes that uh, any man that marries a woman of dark skin then she will give him um dark skin babies you know but it's like stuff like that you know i mean like um you know nobody's 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 um nobody's um doesn't know about this okay everybody's aware of, of this okay um and then <clears throat> the next one that the lord is exalting okay um it's going to be from a muslim background okay and as you guys is hearing me saying muslim background because even this person that the lord is choosing to do this has sent to do this okay um going to have to be do um a self discovery and come to him and let go of his beliefs and fully engage in the lord okay and the reason why he's choosing a person from a muslim background is because of many reasons one even though islam doesn't worship jesus as god okay uh muslims also have been treated unfairly okay more so in the last days okay that's why i had to make the videos of the third world tree to explain you people what is going on in the world okay about all this uh, terrorism stuff you know what i mean uh, with islam and all these things okay so that you know you people to understand why the lord is choosing a muslim person to do this this job as well okay and also the video of jesus is knocking on your door will you open um yeah the reason why he's choosing a muslim person as well okay so one of them going to have a, a christian background and the other one going to have a muslim background so pretty much to tell the world you see this is my two witnesses this is how you people supposed to be like united in love okay because as he said to me love is the only power that unites that unites against that yeah it's the mess you guys living at at this precise moment okay so by bringing another person that is from muslim background as well okay this is also to highlight and to say if it was capable for someone of a complete different faith to like go of it to be humble enough to be um meek enough to like go of their beliefs and follow me right that excludes any um 
any excuses, right, for anyone who is already in Jesus or calls himself a Christian, right, um, excludes any excuses of them giving, um, of them to say that they are, they are, they themselves are incapable of letting go of their own beliefs also, okay, of their religious beliefs, okay, and follow Jesus alone themselves um because it's it's not a easy task for them okay but one thing i want you people to understand is this we are brothers and sisters in spirit as well as in works okay and um the lord has sent many of us many of his children in many different places okay for a reason and the main reason is that we don't have to behave like our family do okay but we are sent in those families to bring light to them okay to sell to do a self-discovery of who we are in him Okay, and once we find out who we are in him, that we must bring light to our own families. Okay, I mean, do you think that my parents, that I know everything that I know because my parents are pastors or something like that? They're not pastors. They're not pastors at all. Matter of fact, they are really living an ungodly life. They don't even have ears to hear about God. Okay. If I want to spoil their day, it's very easy. All I have to do is just pretty much bring conversations about God or topics about or godly topics, and they're going to change their face completely. They're not even going to feel like talk to me pretty much the whole day or as much as they see that I'm still bringing the issue or topics about godly stuff, you know. But I know that I'm there for a reason, okay. And definitely it's not to be like them, but to bring a light to them, to be a light for them, because they wouldn't do it by themselves. Okay? And um, I have two warnings for you people. Okay? If not more. Um, one warning, the main warning that I have, it's this. That no one... To come and say and use um, to say that God is choosing, for instance, a black person or a Muslim person as to say that, oh, this is the best race or the Lord is choosing these people because this is the best race. or blah, 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 blah. Nobody to come across in open mouth to say this sort of rubbish things. I'm serious. Because there is nothing worse as anyone can do than talk crap in in. in like using God's name in vain, okay? To say that he said something or doing something when that is not even his intention. That's the worst thing anyone can do. I'm serious about that. And he says that anyone talking that crap going to pay greatly for that. Do you understand me? Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't say anyone didn't tell you that or didn't tell you so, okay? He is simply exalting these people simply to show mercy for them. And that's it, just mercy. Because he said, in terms of being ungodly, we have all fallen short before him. All, no race is better. No race has been any better at all. We have all fallen short before him. Okay? So, but he's just simply showing mercy because some cat categories has been treated like crap. Okay? And um, another one is this. Nobody to say as well also that we are the ones who have Jesus first and this and blah, blah, blah. No. He says that anyone who does not have his ways does not have him at all. Knowing him or having him as Lord is not enough. We must have his ways. Okay. So I pray that this video will help you. Okay. To know more about the two witnesses. Okay. And to have a full um full respect for them and and um receiving them with open arms because we have brothers and sisters all over the world okay and i pray that you be guided protecting jesus name amen bye bye